In this tutorial we're going to tie the zipper Synet paracord bracelet, which is a quick deploy bracelet that can be unraveled in seconds. I have already covered the zipper Synet in the previous video and in this tutorial we're going to also make the beginning loop and the closing knot which will be a lanyard knot. With that said, let's get to it. To start I have joined two pieces of cord using the many method and I'm going to make a loop on the left side. Then fold a small bit of cord on the right and feed that through the loop. I'm now going to tighten up my loop. And this will create a bottom loop that we will use for our bracelet. And I'm now going to adjust it a bit so it will look nicer. Once you have a nice look for your bottom loop, you can now start the zippers in it. Since the loop is looking to the left, we're going to take the left cord, fold it a bit, then feed it through the loop. We're then going to tighten up the loop. Then also pull on the cord that we just passed through. And this is the first part in our zipper Synet. It now faces the right side, so we're going to now pass the right cord through, then tighten up the loop, then also pull on the bottom of the cord that we just passed through. And it again faces the left, so we're going to fold the left cord and feed it through the loop, tighten it up. And that's all that you need to do to build the zipper Synet. It is quite a fast technique. I'm going to finish the rest of the Synet off camera and I'm going to show you how to finish the bracelet. I got to a length that I like and you can see the pattern of the bracelet here. And we're now going to finish it. To lock it off we're going to take the next cord that should pass through the loop and feed the end through. Then pull on the loop as well as the cord to lock it off. This will prevent the Synet from unraveling. Now we can make a lanyard knot at the end to serve as the ball for our bracelet. I'm just demonstrating it here very fast, but I have made a tutorial on the lanyard knot and I'm going to leave a link in the description you can use to learn the knot. Any stopper knot can work as long as it is large enough to fit the loop at the bottom of the bracelet. After you have adjusted your lanyard knot, your bracelet is complete and it can be worn easily by feeding the ball through the loop and you can cut the flush or leave a small bit so it will be easier to put your bracelet on and off. 
Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. See you next time.